planning. You don't even do grading, right? We just do a two-dimensional layout. Um, now that has a lot of downsides, obviously, um, because you start finding out grading uh, consequences in plan production, and then you guys start going back to that revision cycle. So that can be that can be challenging. Um, so we're going to show you how you do that in this in this uh, workflow. Now do some stormwater uh, budgeting, and then really at this point you're going to get up or down from your, from your clients. They don't like it, back around to the beginning, start it all over again, right? Now, what you want to do is to make sure that your revisions, if you're having revisions on projects, you want those the revisions to have, happen at this point. Once you get to the plan production part of it, if you're doing the plan production, you don't want to, do, or even if you're even if you're if you're not doing the plan production, you don't want the revisions going on, a lot of revisions going on here because the further along this project workflow you go with and do revisions, the more expenses they become. If you do it after the revisions after plan production, then it becomes more expensive, right? So you want to try to figure out as much as possible here and as quickly as time as possible, and then move on to your next to your next piece. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and, and, and uh, jump into site ops here. And what we're going to look at inside this model here, um, this is this is site ops. Site ops is an online tool, um, and and it's um, username login to get in the system. All of your data is going to be stored in the cloud. Um, in here, and what I'm going to do in here is we're going to look at this is um, a acute 3D model uh, imported uh, with 3x um, inside of Context Capture, um, and you can see what this is is it's a um, it's a 3D model of San Francisco. All right, if I kind of take this and I spin it around, you can kind of see inside this model, and this was. This was flown over, was done, done some aerial, and you can kind of see down here if we pull it around and kind of swing it around. You can see the model of the city, right? And you kind of can swing down in here. And this is the site. We're actually going to do this site over here. We're going to take a look at it. We're going to build something new on it. Right now, I think there's a school and some and some um, some ball fields out here. We're going to go and replace that with some condos and some, some retail in this particular model. But if you're familiar with these types, some models, and you've probably seen them in, 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 um, um, in either if you work with drones, that kind of thing, you've probably seen them. Or if you even just play around with like something like Google Earth, um, you can see these types of models. If you check on the 3D buildings inside of Google Earth, you spin around, you can kind of see these models um, in a lot of the cities, uh, they'll, you know, so that you can actually get down on the street here, you know, and spin around. And one of the cool things in here is if you take your little dude over here on the left side, drop it down on the screen here, and then you can drop him down the street, and then you can see a picture. If you guys have seen the Google cars, you've seen them drive by, right? Um, you can see the uh, – basically, this is what reality is, right, or reality on the screen, let's say. And then if I click this little button over here, this is the reality model inside of Google Earth. It's depicted the same sort of thing as depicted um, – in, in here, same sort of uh, model. Now, this is our own data. Here, this is in Google Earth data. Um, so this was done with with um, our own um, aircraft and that sort of thing, either drones or, or uh, airplanes or helicopters. Anyway, and th that model was then taken, that imagery was taken into context capture and converted into this 3D mesh of San Francisco. Okay. Now, what we want to do is take this 3D model here, and we want to bring it into a modeling software, and that's what we're going to do in SiteUps. So and basically the way that works is I'm going to come over here, jump into SiteUps, and then up here at the top you have the option to import 3MX 2D files. These are context capture files. You can also bring in OBJ files as well. Um, let's go ahead and bring that in. Let's go ahead, and, I'm going to go ahead and copy that web address there, pick on it, and then it's going to go ahead now. It's going to go ahead and bring in this 3D model. If I spin around here, you can pull it out, and you can kind of see it's going to bring in that whole model of the city here. Let's go over here. Let's go over and find this location over here. So this is the site we're looking at here. And I'm going to go ahead and just define a, you know, a decent-sized property boundary around it. Take it on down here like this. Click OK. And now if I view this in my 3D viewer now, you can see, I'm going to turn on this little hardware render button here. You can see what it's going to do. It's going to go ahead and pull in the reality model from what we were looking at inside of um, inside of Qt 3D, which is the context capture viewer. 
um, and it's going to pull it into this model. And now I have an actual model inside of my uh, site here that I can work with, right? So what I might want to do in here is I might want to come in here, and, I, and off of this, I may want to actually clip the terrain, because right now we don't have any surface in here to build off of. So if I clip the terrain from here, I can clip the terrain. And one of the problems, and if you look at this, this 3D model here, is the terrain that's going to be built here is going to be built based off of the terrain that you see here. So the trees, the top of the buildings, all this is going to be part of a surface terrain. Now, if you've seen this in a lot of softwares, they have, you know, kind of some bare earth technology where you try to get down to bare earth and things like that. And that's really the surface that you want to use um, to do this um, in order to uh, actually get the, the real terrain. But you can see as it pulls it in, if I view that in my 3D viewer again, you can see that that surface now that it's brought in here is going to look something like this, right? And you can see some how the trees are modeled as a surface now. We don't want that. Now, there's some tools inside of setups that you can prune different things and prune some of this stuff out. Or if you actually have a, a bare earth file of just this site, like or even if you had something field surveyed, because this is geo-coordinated in here, it knows uh, in you can bring in that data and replace it with this, right? So in setups, we, you can also import like things like USGS Topo. And so I can do that in here and replace this data with that. And then you can see that it now has that Topo in there instead. So that's kind of where we want to get started with this, with this project. So let's go jump forward just a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and open up another uh, project here. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. I need to save that. No. So same project. I just drew a couple extra, uh, a couple drive paths in here um, to fill this in. So you can see there's existing roads, and I modeled some some um, parking and things like that on here. And I'll show you how you can do that in setups here as well. But what we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and draw out a site. Now, initially, uh, as we're playing here, this is a, a something typical that you may get for, um, from a client or just something that you might sketch out and say what you want. So basically in this, this scenario, this sketch real quick, they want some condos here, they want some kind of commercial building here, and they want a couple of streets that are connecting to these existing roads out in basically a couple of different directions. So that's what we're going to mimic here. And you can kind of see that here. Here's those existing roads that we're going to connect across from here and here and here and here. Now let's go ahead and do that in setup. So the first thing I'm going to do 